Good morrow, fair fellows. How goest thou? Hail and hearty, sterling companion. Barely, I must concur. And what of you, Sir Rupert? Filled with a mighty satisfaction am I, for an idea has come upon me like a bolt from the very heavens. It is an idea for a merry jape upon which we three might venture forth. I am most mightily intrigued, but keep us not in a state of suspense, dearest cuz. Tell us of which venture you speak. Tis a most ribald concept we three shall choose with random occurrence a play by the bard of Avon, William Shakespeare, and thence reimagine it as if to have been written in the time of Geoffrey Chaucer. An amusing ponderance, Sir Rupert. Meh. Meh. I care not for this folly. It is derivative and seemeth a most uncommon misuse of my energies. Well, if... If Sir Bast approveth not of this venture, then neither do I. Bah! A pox on thee both then, thou pair of waggers. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. That's kiss the sky, not kiss this guy. Welcome to Time Ram, uh, the podcast where we ram together a Doctor Who story with its wrong doctor. Just it's wrong, it's wrong and bad wrong, but we do it anyway because that's how we rock and roll. With me tonight, as usual, uh, Mr. Barry Williams. Good evening. Mr. Paul Ferry. Good evening. And sporting by far the best moustache I've seen this year. A bit of the is only January, but still, I think it's a record that will stand. Mr. Richard Napper. Hi. So, yeah, you all good chaps? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm well, good. I mean, I'm, I'm job hunting, but apart from that, I'm good, you know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. By the time this comes out, I may already be destitute, yes. Um, may have been swept up by but, uh, Yes, yes. The castle where I work is currently falling down, apparently. So um, I um, needs must yeah. look for new castle employment. Where he works is falling so down, falling down, <laughs> falling down. The castle where he works is falling down. Someone shore it up quickly with timbers. I wouldn't timbers. want our American listeners to think that that all uh, British people live working castles, <laughs> but they do because this is a kind of exceptional. I, might be I can honestly say I've never worked at a castle. I might, I might do some filming at a castle this year. We'll see. We'll have to see how that location works out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not really working at, is it? It's working out for a couple of days. It doesn't really count. I don't know why I said it. Fuck it. I was just trying to be interesting. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. so, 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 and actual so. Tonight's story is Journey to the Center of the TARDIS. No, it isn't. What? No, it isn't. No, no, no. it's not. It's the is Shakespeare it? Code. I hope I've, uh, I've watched the wrong one. Huh? <laughs> it's the Shakespeare Code. It's the Shakespeare Code. It's the Shakespeare Code. <laughs> Can yeah. we get Jerry to the centre of the TARDIS first or something? We rolled that I first, I think yeah. we, we, we ah, read it. Then... Well, I watched that and I didn't enjoy it very much, so that's good. Uh, so tonight's story <laughs> is the Shakespeare Code. <laughs> See, that's why the sketch was relevant. I that's why we were doing the Shakespearean stuff. That was why it's it's a reason. Yeah. You know, I will not know what episode is they're watching. Yeah, well, fine. The Shakespeare Code. So yeah. that's marvelous. I'm not really out of favor with that one tonight. Good. <laughs> Ooh, marvelous. Um, which originally starred David Tennant, but now I think stars Peter Capaldi. Yes. 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 Oh, thank God for that. Um, so are you doing the plot, Rupert? Is that right? No, I'm not doing the plot. I never do the plot. Why would I want to do the plot? Are you crazy? I mean, I can do the plot if you want, but on your own head, be it. <laughs> I have to say we decided not to do Jane at the Centre of Tardis because we thought oh there'll be nothing to change in that with Capaldi and mm. I was sitting all the way through the Shakespeare code thinking there's nothing to there's change, nothing to change. 
This is the problem with new series episodes. I think yeah. have, unless they're particular arc story ones, they yeah. work. Time round works much better when we mash up the, the new, yeah, new, nearly mm-hmm. twenty year old series mm. um, with the original run. Mm. But we can't do that, right? Because the RAM has said no, so it's on the RAM. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, yeah. So Denied Shakespeare Code, marvelous. Yes, yes. yes. Baz, tell us what happens in that. Particularly tell me what happens in that. <laughs> <laughs> well, sooth, it is a most lovely night no, in no, London. No, 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 stop it. No, okay. Stop it. Just <laughs> say it in normal. Speak to us in standard. <laughs> <laughs> we should point out, um, before we start with this, that mm. uh, that, that we, well, all, all four of us were involved in time base. Mm-hmm. Fan films, we and we did first. we did Shakespeare, yeah, Shakespeare we did Shakespeare first. first. Yeah, that's true. We we yeah. did a young, sexy Shakespeare long before. No, technically, technically, no, we didn't because Shakespeare does appear in the chase. He's not young and sexy yeah. though, is he? Yeah, he's kind of... but he's not. He's not. He's not called he's not either, a so. character, no. is he? So, no. yeah. he's well, he is a character, but you know, he's not. A... Yeah, he's Shakespeare. I mean, he, he doesn't have an epic go to. <laughs> that is the first time that Shakespeare appeared in Doctor Who. Yes. Yes. Just in case we get fact checked. Yes, <laughs> yes. I have three people who listen. <laughs> I think you will find. That I think you will uh... find. <laughs> I think you will find. Actually, yeah. <laughs> um, and he may not have been sexy, but my God, Queen Elizabeth, she was an goer. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> which is of course the same Elizabeth who eventually married David Tennant's doctor, bringing us nicely back to what we're supposed to be talking about. Yes. Yeah. Does it? Okay, yeah, all right. Shakespeare. Right. Shakespeare, yeah. Um, it's fifteen ninety nine. Not at the moment. At the moment, it's about uh, 2030. But no, it's uh, 1599 and uh, London. And um, we get to uh, see a young man. He's serenading. Uh, he's serenading a very attractive young lady. He's called Lilith. Yeah. Um, and she kind of invites him inside, inside her balcony. Oh. Yeah, uh, so to speak, and um, yeah, I see, Dicky, you're used to this kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> never heard it called that before. Um... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, it's, uh, actually, it's... filthy laughing at, but it goes fantastic with <laughs> <in> your stash. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he gets invited start inside. Making, they should start making Doctor at Large films again. You'd be perfect in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could you could pass for uh, um, what's he called, James Robinson Justice. Robinson Justice, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Got yeah. the grey in the beard now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets invited inside. He thinks he's uh, thinks this is his lucky night, but it really isn't because then he gets eaten by witches. Yeah, yeah. Um, could be fun. Not that kind of eating. Depending, on, depending on the yeah. kind of eating. And the, yeah, I was, the kind I was, of eating. My mind was going there, but I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, no, no, God. Even with this time round. Right just say it out loud, <laughs> No, he's, he's, he's literally consumed by witches. Um, and then we get the tile sequence, mm-hmm. which yeah. we're not really going to change, particularly, is it? It's because it's Capaldi. So, yeah, it's uh, not really going to change. I mean, apart from being a completely different title sequence and different. Music. Different tile sequence, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. See, I was thinking, I find it difficult when we when we do new series for new series, thinking of different ways of casting it. Yeah, because I mean, the the, the, the witch in this, exactly the same people. Mm. Yeah, it's Christina Cole in Christina Cole. um in this version. It probably would still be Christina Cole in the yeah. Uh, yeah, she hasn't really changed. I don't know. Change. It's a few years later. They probably cast someone slightly. Yeah. I don't know who though. Um, oh, what's the name of that? Girl from Call the Midwife. Not that I watch Call the Midwife. <laughs> oh. I know who you mean, the blonde one. Um, yeah, that's uh, Trixie. Yeah. I still don't watch Call the Midwife. But you know what the character's called. Yeah, great. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. I do not watch Call the Midwife and I have no idea who Trixie is, but I've always liked the name Trixie. I used to know it called Trixie. He, pres- he protested over much, sir. Um, <laughs> true, true. Hang on, I'm going to Google it. Oh, the name. She was on the one show tonight as well. Is it Helen something? Helen George. Yeah. Helen George. Yeah, yes. Yeah. There you go. Helen George. Yeah. That works for me. There you go. We love her. Yeah. Really, she's got quite a posh accent as well. So that would fit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Good. Mm. Yeah. And she's normally sort of quite innocent and nice, Helen George. So it'd be quite a nice she is. change yeah. of change oh, of pace yeah. for her. It would. Mm. Um, so then we cut to uh, the doctor. He's in his TARDIS. He's showing off his TARDIS. Um, yeah. He's showing off to Martha in the initial instance. It's her first trip in the TARDIS. Mm. Yeah. Um, Bill. I would kind of err uh, towards Bill, maybe. Yeah. 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 I was thinking Bill. Well, but does that mean we've also got to find a place for uh, Nardole as well? Or... Not Is necessarily. there Bill ones without Nardole? Can yeah, they, they, they leave them behind. There's a few. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's the, the, the thin ice one. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Thin ice. This is uh, yeah. You put this in the thin ice slot. And it pretty yeah, much... we could do that. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, it would sure work. I but... anything in the thin ice slot, though. That doesn't sound like a pleasant night out. <laughs> but Bill will be able to rebuff all of uh, Shakespeare's. Um... Yeah. 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 Going ah, oh, forsooth, she has chosen to do the Wilbury twist instead. Words <laughs> 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 that effect. Um, I suppose with Bill, we can actually do the same plot line, which they do with Martha here, of course. It's that she's darker skinned than the average London yeah. in 1599. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which they kind of swiftly address and move on, which is quite nice. Um, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, the Doctor's really, he's, he's showing off. He's taking her for a night out. They're going out for night on the yeah. tiles. They're going to visit the globe, taking a play. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do in London in 1599. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. I think I'd just leave immediately in case of all the hideous airborne bacteria. <laughs> yeah, because they, they nearly get shit chucked on them, don't they? Yeah, it's nice. Um, yeah. And then he, then he, strangely, he seems to walk straight through where it would have been. Mm. And then she does a kind of, she does some kind of acting like, uh, when she goes past it. But he seems to just walk straight through it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, 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 Capaldi would address that. Capaldi would be part of showing off with him. He'd be kind of just saying, hey, you know, Time Lord. He's got he special... Straight through shit. Shit-proof shoes. Yeah. Yeah. And the shit if shoes. If you're from a civilization that can develop something like a TARDIS, yeah. you, you, you're going to have done shit-proof shoes along Andy the way. shit shoes, yeah. Andy shit shoes. His feet shoes. don't actually touch the shit. He just sort of hovers like, you know, a just millimeter above him. the shit. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then down again and carry on walking normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I want to see Capaldi hovering over shit. That'd be great. <laughs> I could do with some anti shit shoes around here because it seems that since since uh, COVID, a lot of people have just stopped picking up after their dogs, and the amount of dog shit around is incredible. Hmm. Uh, There's none in Durham. It's not allowed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What Bobby. dogs? <laughs> dogs, dog shit, people. I mean, you know, all of it. Yeah. They, they had them all shot during uh, COVID. This, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's that's the council's fault. The, the ones who weren't middle class enough, any. <laughs> Can you get a middle class dog? You ever seen a Shih Tzu? Yeah, it's quite a middle class dog. Oh, now I want to see Capaldi hovering over a Shih Tzu. That yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Anti Shih Tzu Shih Tzus. <laughs> Imagine the withering I mean, have. That's my Capaldi impression. <laughs> so they come out the TARDIS, somebody throws a shih tzu at them <laughs> out of the window. And yeah, the doctor says, sorry, oh, they've man. only got middle class dogs in the 16th century. So. Holy Shakespearean shih tzu story. Fantastic. And alliterative. <laughs> it's the Shakespeare shih tzu. <clears throat> indeed. Indeed. There's a title. <laughs> There's a title. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's initially. Does Shakespeare Shih Tzu sit there going, "Your history"? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's initially originally uh, named after the Da Vinci Code, which was kind of big around 2007. Yes, it was... yeah. 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 yeah, I'd forgotten about that. Nicky, yeah. can you tell us about that? Hmm. You know about the Da Vinci Code? Do oh, you? you know about the Shake? You know about the Da Vinci Code? Yeah, yeah, totally. That falls slightly short of telling us about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Da Vinci Code. Uh, but, uh, but, oh, sorry. Uh, try that again. Let's try that again. Try that again. <laughs> no, you're I'm opening, bored man. now. I don't want this no, anymore. No, you spoiled it. It's ruined. I'm rusty. I'm rusty, man. Imagine me <laughs> throwing a shit suit. too long. <laughs> so, the Da Vinci Code. A uh, book written by Dan Brown about a uh, guy, a bit like a middle-class Indiana Jones who works in a, a university called a chap called Robert Langdon, who's Oh, I can't remember whether he, he he kind of is a symbiologist or something. He looks at symbols and 
and basically um if memory serves me it's something to do with the illuminati hmm. uh illuminati and Livingspell. yeah yeah and then lots of uh uh hijinks ensue as he runs around europe going into catacombs um and then being cast as tom hanks I've got a question what how many illuminati does it take to change a light bulb I don't know. Yeah, all right, fine, fine, fine. I tried. I don't know. <laughs> How many? Oh, How many? Question. I don't um, know. They're mysterious. Oh. Wouldn't I, tell. Thought, I, thought, I thought it was a oh, gag. I thought, you were doing I a joke. thought it was a joke. I thought it, it was, was a gag. gag. It was. That was, yeah. Oh. No, there wasn't oh. a punchline to it. I haven't oh. got that. Oh. No, come on. It came up. It took me five seconds. <laughs> you want punchlines as well? That takes a bit more time and some lighting. <laughs> Oh, oh, so I've got two dogs. One going... Knock, knock. Who's there? Timer. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Well, that's more true to knock, life, knock. though, isn't it? You don't know who's there when someone knocks on the door. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Well, open the fucking door and find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to because I saw that piff in the 70s that said, oh, don't open the door, put a chain on the door before you it let me. It could be a, a madman axeman who's deep in sin. It could be a madman with an axe who's deep in sin. You know, oh, yeah. these things can happen. Oh, put the door on the snack. We haven't got very far into the plot, have we? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Well, it's too much time on to pull you hovering yeah. over shit zoos. Shut. Yeah, we've yeah. been hovering over shit zoos for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Paul, they... he got his guitar with him? I think he must have, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're lucky yeah. he's not riding a tank, frankly, um, at this point. Capaldi's got his guitar. Capaldi's strumming around with his electric guitar. In, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. While hovering over a shih tzu. That is the coolest thing ever. Yes. <laughs> I want tall. to see the picture. I yeah. want to see the picture. I mean, not 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 naming any names, sixes and sevens, but if you fancy <laughs> going that way, then <laughs> that would be great. Capaldi <laughs> hovering over a shih tzu, strumming his electric guitar. <laughs> You know he's going to have a big, big finish, so to speak, in the uh, in the globe. So that's, that's where he's going. I don't wish yeah. to know about Cabaldi's big finish. <laughs> I don't think Cabaldi does either, by the sound of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's not been interested, is he? Um, mm. Yeah. So they're sitting in the he's audience, getting jobs in massive Hollywood films. You know, I mean, <laughs> I, he's not desperate for work. No, he's, he's fine. Really now. not. No, 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 he's probably not scraping for money. Don't worry um, about the Cabaldi. He's all right. Yeah. He's okay. Yeah, a friend of mine saw him wandering around Dulwich once in his dressing gown. I, I say wandering around, going to a shop and then going back again. Ah, uh, okay. He lives somewhere in Dulwich. You make it sound like he just lost his mind and was just wandering the streets. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, there weren't any shih tzus from Dulwich, so they had to walk. <laughs> um, but the mind you, there probably are a lot of shih tzus in Dulwich. Yeah. Shih tzus <laughs> in Dulwich. Uh, never mind. If he had lost his mind, you wouldn't cha- you wouldn't challenge Capaldi, would you? No. If you thought he was behaving oddly, mind. you wouldn't mention it to him because he'd no. just bite your head off. He would tell you to fuck off. Uh, I, 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 I go off. straight in and go, tell me, what do you think about the design of the Zabi in the web planet? And talk about Shawcraft, <laughs> and that would bring him out immediately. Or talk about Bernard Lodge, yes. who's that much of a fan. That's the exciting thing. Nobody in the universe can do what we're doing. Capaldi was the number one fan of the fan club, wasn't he? At some point, he was indeed. Yeah, he was. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's foes of him. Had some who knowledge, but the production office weren't a fan of him at the time. This is the late Pertwee era. Um, yeah, because he kept sending them letters, and they kept writing to the head of the fan club, going, "Bloody Peter Capaldi!" Yeah, <laughs> uh, I read that somewhere recently. That's <laughs> great, funny. It's just lovely. Yeah, yeah basically, there's... he's one of us who who <laughs> became the Doctor. Yeah, there's photos of him with John Perry and Tom Baker and Liz Slade yeah. just being really fanish. And, uh, yeah, yeah, just doing massive grins in exactly the same that we, the way that we all are in photos when we're with doctors or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we should get him on this show. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's work on that. Good. Yeah, so yeah. He's not he doing a Hollywood blockbuster. Yeah. I'm sure yeah come on, Peter, you can slag anybody off that you're on Twitter, <laughs> care. We just leave it in. Yeah. Well, you get him to do a funny voice throughout, so no one. You know, like Patrick Troughton always said he wanted to play a monster in the day. Yes. And just not be credited, just so he knew he was in that costume, like a tractator or something. Um, yeah. But no one else ever would. We'd have to get him on and keep it secret, but we'd have to give him a daft name, like I don't know, 
Richard Napper, <laughs> and people would never, they'd never know, they'd never know it was Peter Capaldi. <laughs> 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 but you know, I know, where, I know where you live and all. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is, you're at the other end of the bloody country. Yeah, not cost from, effective from Scotland. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite close enough. <laughs> well, you're clearly you're nearest to Paul, so you have to punch Paul. Paul then punches me, and eventually I'll punch back when I'm down in <laughs> some time and nearest. <laughs> That is irritating me, that little cursor right there. That's not my... <laughs> it's my OCD. Right. Um, we should probably do we some... We still haven't got past this shit to, have we? This is... No. <laughs> We're off there. to the globe. Are we taking the shit Yeah. Seriously? We got to the globe, yeah. The globe. Um, yeah. We're in the globe. Uh, they're in the audience. They're watching us. The isn't play. the globe more of a cylinder? Yeah, well, it's more of a yeah. what's it? Um, Twelve-sided shape. What do, do they call that? Dodecahedron. Um, wasn't dodecahedron. It? Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, they should have yeah. called it the dodecahedron. They should have called it the dodecahedron. Oh, maybe they did, but there could have been a previous story where they called it that. But then this really angry cactus started coming before it went. Yes, call it something else. Actually, you know what? It's got fourteen sides because it's really significant to the plot. So yeah, that's it. It's fourteen uh, sides. It's not a dodecahedron. Uh, it's a whatever. It doesn't actually have to be globe-shaped to be called the globe, though, does it? You know. Hmm. I guess they just thought that was... When you go to a pub called The Dog and Duck, it's not shaped like a dog and a duck. Well, not usually. They don't usually have a dog and a duck there, no. Um, no. No. Serving behind the bar. Well, sometimes a dog. Almost never. They end up feeling rough. Yes. Hey. Tetradecagon. It's a tetradecagon. Tetradecagon. Thank you. The old ones are the best. Uh, it's a tetradecagon. Good. Let's try and do some plot. Um, so they're at the Globe, or the Tetradecadon, and um, they see the Shakespeare, Shakespeare play. Shakespeare's Tetradecadon, it sounds fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great word, I love it. Character. Isn't it? Yeah. Character. Character. yeah. And they get to the end of the play, and obviously they've, they've had a great time. Um, so, um, well, it was Martha, the initial, presumably Bill invents the the tradition of shouting author at the end of the play yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> Shakespeare comes on he's a sexy young dude mm-hmm. um, the doctor pontificates about he's going to say something amazing now and he says shut your fat mouths so he's kind of he's um, it's more a like the sort of thing Capaldi's going to say really isn't it that's, a much, yeah. that's much more of a, his doctor's sort of statement yeah it's... I'm not sure Capaldi's going to be quite as kind of reverent is he he's going to be more kind of no. oh, here he comes um, yeah yeah, yeah. Capaldi's going, going to be complaining that he wrote, you know, as in he, the doctor, wrote loads of Shakespeare stuff and just didn't get a credit ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He probably put in that Tom Baker line about how he wrote his sonnets for him because, no, he wrote Hamlet for him because Shakespeare had his hand writing sonnets. Writing sonnets. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, I've always thought writing sonnets is a euphemism. <laughs> you can do both. Can you, Shakespeare? P.S. I'm wanking as I write this. <laughs> you are disgusting. Um, Lilith's in the audience as well. She's there. She's got a yes. doll. Uh, she's kind of playing with its hair. Yeah. Um, so uh, the play they've just seen is Love's Labour's Lost, which is um, not one of Shakespeare's best known ones, I would have said. Mm. Um, but um, she gets him to promise uh, Love Labour's One the following night. Uh, Love Labour's one, famously a lost play, or supposedly they're not mm-hmm. quite sure. Uh, it might be a different name for another play, like The Taming of the Shrew or something like that. And nobody's quite certain because they didn't really do sequels in those days. They didn't do sequels to comedies, so yeah. it's a bit strange. Um, but yeah, we haven't cast Shakespeare actually, have we? No. no. So I'm looking for a young, sex male from about fifteen years ago. I haven't a clue. Yeah, How the sexy hell am I young male before? from about. I'm just going to cast the shit. It's not 15 years ago. The, I mean, the original was 15 years ago, so Capaldi were talking six I mean, years ago. Five or six years ago. More than that, innit? No. 20... They never cast Shakespeare as technically be from the Midlands, wouldn't he? They never cast anybody from the Midlands as Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It's a shame he has to be young and sexy. It's a shame he has to be young and sexy. Otherwise, uh, yeah. at the end of his life, we cast Paul Darrow. 
You're saying that Midlands <laughs> accent isn't young and sexy. Is that is that your implication? Um, Mine or Dickie's? <laughs> all of you. I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> I have no implications. I'm just doing a, an Avon gag again. <laughs> Who's from the West Country we can cast? Um, Bill Bailey. I don't know. Um, He's got the beard. He's got the beard and the hairline. Not really young. Young and sexy. He's not young and sexy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Jack Whitehall. Jack Whitehall. Oh. Bit posh. He is a bit posh, but, you know. But he's better at our age, I suppose. If he's not going to be from the Midlands, it doesn't make any difference. Mm. <laughs> That's a very different was... Shakespeare, though, isn't it? Jack Whitehall, blimey. Yeah. Who was the dude who played Jack Crusher in uh, Guard? Oh. Um... Wouldn't he have been knocking around back then doing Downton Abbey? And... He might have been, yeah. Uh, I don't know his name. I, I want to say, it's somebody Spear, isn't it? Sort of spiel. Yeah, Ed Spilliers. Yeah. He's a good-looking young lad. He is a good-looking young lad. Yeah, he's good uh, He would have been about 30, which is about the right age. So, yeah. Okay. Ed Spilliers. Yeah. yeah. That's a good suggestion. That's a real name, Ed Spilliers. Ed Spilliers, that's his yeah. name. Yeah. 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 What are you still here? I mean, you know, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it's... It's first, something like Maria. I don't know. First name's Ed, second name, Spilliers. Spilliers? Spilliers. But being in Star Trek, he's got his left ear, his right ear, and his final frontier. Hey, I haven't done the worst part of this episode now. <laughs> Win. Oh, well, comes. technically, you haven't done a gag. <laughs> yeah, you did the... The lead into a game. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done the worst setup. <laughs> well, there we are. He's got a punchline, so I can splice that into my earlier guy. Oh, no, it won't make sense, but. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gee. Yeah. Well, this is what my career's come to. <laughs> <laughs> career in the sense of sort of a ship that's not got a tiller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you've got great tash. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you use that tash often? Do you use it for stuff? I can pick locks with it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, mm. I actually believe you. Mm. I actually believe you. Yeah. No, it, it, it started when I was on the cruise about three weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, lots of people made comments, so it's stuck. Huh? Positive That's comments. Really positive. Oh, positive. All right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I see you mean the cruise ship rather than just kind of walking the streets going, hey, babe. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 you were right the first time. I was walking around see, the streets going, dude. My my assumption is that you were on the cruise ship solving a murder. Is that correct? Yeah, pr pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the bar. <laughs> so, yes, uh, Shakespeare, he's in a bit of a corner now. He's promised a, a play for the next day. He hasn't written it yet, or at least he hasn't finished yeah. it. Uh, we catch up with him in the, the Elephant Inn with his uh, cast of players. And um, there's a servant there called Dolly Bailey who fancies him. Um, this is totally what I'd do if I had to write a script by tomorrow. I'm just going straight to the bar. Straight to the bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. And uh, Lilith followed them there. She's there as well. She's also disguised as a, a serving wench. And, um, yeah, the Doctor and Bill come in. I guess when the Capaldi Doctor, Bill's probably persuaded him, I want to meet Shakespeare. And he's gone, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, they, they come in. And uh, in the original version, Shakespeare immediately fancies Martha. Mm -hmm. He can yeah. immediately fancy Bill, I guess it's fine. Of course he's immediately mm -hmm. fancy Bill, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a bit special. They make him a bit special in that usual way where they do the celebrity historical and, uh, you know, they, they've got their tongue up his ass. Um, <laughs> psychic paper doesn't work on him, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's too clever for the psychic paper. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, they get chained and then some... smack him in the face of the shit too. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a shit, you know. <laughs> he gets his guitar out and, and, uh, Nice. Convinces them he's a traveling player, yeah, with a, a special loot. 
Have you seen my special loot? <laughs> Would you like to touch it? <laughs> Come and strum my loot. <laughs> no one else has a loot like mine. Because <laughs> that's how Cabaldi talks. Yes. That's really how he talks, yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. No one else has a loot like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I shall go and get my whippet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then someone says, hold hard. Yes, yes. I know it's they the talk hard. funny, don't they? They talk funny, don't they? <laughs> uh, it's Lindley. It's Lindley, the censor. Um, yeah. yeah, he comes in, he says, I need to see a copy of this play. Oh, I'm going to ban it. Shakespeare goes, no, because he hasn't written it yet. So he bans the play. Can we have this person played by Michael Grade? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that's a fitting part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, why not? Michael Grade. <laughs> yes, he's not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> not much. It. You know, you could have Michael True, Grade. true. Yeah. Sort of postmodern RTD type thing to do with Moffat, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's Moffat, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, Michael Grade, I mean, he would be mugging all the way through, wouldn't he? But, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. it would be terrible. I wasn't serious about Michael Grade. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Having watched a completely different episode earlier on, I'm kind of struggling. So you know, <laughs> don't mind me. How did you manage that? I can I'm thick. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Building a doomsday machine, okay? It's hard work. Uh yeah, so the play's been banned. So uh, Lilith, she needs the play to go ahead. So she pursues Linley. And she kind of... Um, she Can he be Paul Darrow? Paul Darrow. Was he still alive in 2017? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. No. Um, she pursues him anyway. She she managed to grab a lock of his hair. Um, and then uh, she attaches this to her doll. And then she kind of drowns him. Drowns yeah. him in dry land with yeah. the doll. She kind of sticks so it. So she's been waterboarded. Waterboarded, very much. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so they kind of hear him yelling. The doctor and Bill and Shakespeare come down, and they they they're there just in time to kind of see this guy die. Um, yeah. And the doctor comes up with some explanation, some bullshit explanation for what it is. And uh, Bill's like, you know, what? What do you say that for? What's that mean? And he's like, uh, I don't want them to think it's witchcraft. Oh, so what is it? Then? It's witchcraft. Commercial time. We are going on a journey, a very long journey, through the world of the Target novelizations and publication order. Every week, we are looking at a new book, talking about Terrence Dix, Malcolm Hulk, and all our Doctor Who novelization friends. Whatever you do, keep turning the pages. This is Jason Miller of the Doctor Who Literature Podcast, a member of the Direction Point Podcast Network, and you are listening to Woof Time Ram. So where were, have we got past the Shih Tzu stage? Uh, yeah, I, think, I think we're yeah, over yeah, Shih Tzu's now. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think we've moved on, yeah. Um, there's lots of, I mean, it's quite a nice script, this one, by Gareth Roberts, obviously. Um, there's lots of little uh, Shakespeare gags and references in there. So it's, it's, um, it's nicely done. Mm. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, they get to about sort of bedtime. Um, and it's time for them to yeah. turn in. The Doctor and, in the original version, it's the Doctor and Martha have obviously booked a hotel in this in this inn. Yeah. Booked a hotel, booked a room in this inn. Um, yeah. And they end up sharing a bed, and there's a bit of sexual tension there. Uh, until he starts That's going not on going to be happening in this no. version, is it? No, this is a bit different, oh, isn't it? Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure what they'd be doing. I don't know. Um, I think they'll still be lying on the bed, but mm. just you know, she she probably kind of go a bit weird, you know, sort of you know, you and me lying on the bed and all that. Lying in a bit with a professor, and, yeah. And that's... he's going, no, yeah. you have to lie down. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> it's just completely away from any concept. Yeah, of that. yeah. yeah. Why yeah. is it weird? It's all being weird. I'm just throwing my guitar. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all night. Uh, <laughs> He doesn't like a strum. He doesn't like a strum. Or maybe a twangle. <laughs> oh, no. 
you know, to play with his it's friend. Get any it's not <laughs> going to get any better. <laughs> Yeah, so that's largely different, um, unless he mentions yeah. Clara, but it seems unlikely. I don't think he'd bother. Uh, yeah. Hasn't he forgotten Clara? I suppose, yeah, at this point, it's, it's more of a good song, isn't it? Yeah. He has, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's true. He's completely forgotten about it, hasn't he? Yeah. Maybe he's playing that um, ding, 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 you know, Clara's theme. Yeah, yeah. Again. Yeah. She's like, will you shut up? Yeah, she's just fallen asleep and he starts playing his electric guitar yeah <laughs> Full which mystery, is impressive because yeah. there's no electricity <laughs> I'm sure at various points in he does play that though without any kind of amplifier or anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Again, when he's on a tank yeah. you're going you're gonna to have worked out he's yeah. Yeah. Sonic, yeah. really. That's Sonic yeah. something yeah Shih Tzu plugs it into the Shih Tzu oh, Sonic Shih Tzu. I want to see a story with a Sonic Shih Tzu to get the sonic sunglasses sonic i don't want to know where he puts the jack plug in <laughs> i hope he lubes it up first <laughs> that means he's got a shih tzu dispenser in the TARDIS console what's Whenever more we... a kind of a kind of audio shih tzu dispenser with shih tzu with speakers <laughs> yeah. in it yes as you say better than a custard cream dispenser bloody yes God. yes absolutely yeah yeah but like yeah, this, you probably only get used not. once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More sensible than having a coffee machine in your in your console, yeah. 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 What happened to the food machine? Mm. They have a perfectly good machine for food and fluids and things separate from the console, because then... Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's common sense. It really yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Away from the electrics, yeah. Having said that, but common then... sense isn't, isn't really asserting itself in this episode, so... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, they're getting a sort of bit of rest there. Shakespeare, obviously, he's writing. Yeah, the witches are kind of influencing them. They kind of they're using their, their voodoo, and he's uh, he's writing in a strange way. Mm-hmm. Um, until, in fact, Lilith, Lilith, Lilith is standing over him. Um, feel bad. I got the entire episode wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Lilith's standing over him. She's got her doll. She's there. She's making him write. Um, I wish someone would do that to me. That'd be so much easier <laughs> to write if I had some witch standing over me with a doll of me just going, right, fucker. Yeah. In fact, she uses That'd a puppet great. at this point, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, she gets me to write some old shit, though. It's kind of, it's not like your normal Shakespeare. It's kind of 7063 something, you know, it's kind of... It's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, Technical jargon. Technical things. stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah, Dolly Bailey interrupts her. She comes in and Lilith kills her um, and then flies yeah. off in a broom. So, uh, mm-hmm. sad end for Dolly. Mm-hmm. Who's playing Dolly? Does it matter? I don't know, some, you know. Is it Helen? Mm. Yeah. Right. Have the Maybe two witches to... being Helen and uh, Miriam Margulies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really, Margulies, who's in almost as much as Helen these days. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she's in most episodes, yeah. Um, I don't know how she fits I'd her love career. I'd love to see Miriam Margulies hovering over a shit suit. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Just in general. She probably does that anyway. You know, I different. was going to say, if anyone in the, in, the, in the real world actually does that, it's going to be her, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she probably just puts one on each, each foot, shit suit, you know. Just, 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 oh, like, just, yeah. just flies around. Yeah, just, yeah. Gets around really quick. Get a little bit. Yeah, exactly. You can walk everywhere when you've got like anti grav shih tzus. Anti grav shih tzus. Very is... useful shih tzus, aren't they? They're anti gravs. They can amplify electric guitars. There's all sorts uh-huh. of things to do with them. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Nor did anyone else. No, no. You learned it here first. Indeed. So they're, they're on the investigation. They're on the investigation now. Uh, Shakespeare fills them in. He says that Peter Street, who was the architect of the globe, um, used to talk about witches. Um, so they go to the globe. Everyone talked about witches back then, all the time. Uh, yeah. Wake up and kind of witches, though. We should get. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, we should get. <laughs> right. That's witches <laughs> making you do that. <laughs> oh, I'm smoking out in the rain. That's probably all these shih tzus. <laughs> You're smoking shih tzus. An allergy. Yeah. Not smoking. Get... <laughs> Good Lord, I'm not in my twenties anymore. <laughs> do that shit soon. Yeah. 
Um, we should get a young James the First in this, really, because he was kind of into witches around this point, wasn't he? Was he? Yes. I mean, I'm just going to say yes and sound audible. Mm, I'm agreeing. Yeah. It's yeah, just a reference yeah. to the witch finders. Yeah. So it's kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah, so it is. So it is. Yeah. That enormous too rememberable Whitaker story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they go to the Globe, which is just an excuse to go to the Globe, really, because they filmed this in the Globe, which is lovely. Mm-hmm. Um, so saving a bit of money. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's got... Well, four... I think you'll find they filmed it in the reconstructed Globe. Well, it's not the actual original Globe, which burned down in 1608, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, that didn't look this long. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't imagine Shakespeare was very happy with that. I think they started using a different theatre. Um, I tried to do a bit of research into Shakespeare for this. It's there's not much known about him. To be fair, they oh. don't even quite know when he started writing. There's like a seven year gap, mm. in which you know he starts off in Stratford, and then at the end of seven years, he's already got three or four plays out, and then it's like nobody's quite sure. Barney. Yeah, what happened in between? It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'm suspecting a conspiracy theories coming on here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. something to do with the Illuminati. I think uh-huh. it's funny. Uh-huh. funny. Yeah. yeah. I remember at school, do when I did Macbeth at school, the teacher saying that there's a part of it which most scholars think was probably written by somebody else. And in fairness, when you read it, it does it doesn't really fit in with the rest of it. Mm. Yeah, um, it's, uh, I can't remember the name of the character. There's like another witch comes to see the three witches. Um, yeah, and uh, apparently most scholars kind of think that's probably written added by somebody else because it doesn't seem to have much to do with the rest of the story. Hmm. It's interesting. So there's different versions of these plays because a lot of them got published in like folios, but they're kind yeah. of different and they're sort of they're a bit. They, they read like somebody's written it from memory from having seen the play and then published yeah, it yeah. without his knowledge and then you get the first folio comes along and it's completely different yeah. and there's at least yeah. one play for which there's just two different versions for which they're like well <laughs> we don't really quite know you know we can't amalgamate these we don't know what's right um so yeah mm. it's a bit more complicated than you might think yeah. mm. i never did uh, shakespeare at school we did roll doll <laughs> The other literary great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we did Macbeth and they showed us Macbeth bearing well. in mind bearing in mind we were fifteen, yeah. they showed us Roman Polanski's Macbeth. <laughs> which I if anybody's ever shown. seen it, it's it's full of nudity and and <laughs> gore and shown. violence. Yeah. 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 I do remember the English teacher, Mr. Vale, who was very good at controlling the class. He, he was yeah. the one who was most in control of the, the class in the whole school. He was a yeah. great teacher. Yeah, I remember at one point of nudity, he went, Yes, I know she's a big girl, isn't she? Carry on. Um, <laughs> and we're all just kind of drooling at the screen because we're about 14, you know. So, yeah, it's like a great thing with schools in the 70s and 80s, just not giving a shit. I remember being on, yeah. a, on a school bus, uh, to Derbyshire, uh, aged about 12. We we're all on this school bus for hours going to this place, and to entertain us, they thought it'd be a good idea to put on the film. Alien. Nice. So, a nice. bunch of 12 year olds on a school bus watching Alien. Um, yeah. Um, so, I was watching uh, there's that, that famous scene, obviously, with John Hurt. Uh, you'll know yeah. the one where the alien comes out of him. Um, mm-hmm. And I was watching that while my friend in my seat next to me was being travel sick into a small plastic <laughs> bag. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. So, I got that scene in Smither Vision. <laughs> Can you still smell it now when you watch Alien? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 PTSD. Yeah. It, it, it was 1984. There, <laughs> 1984 for me. We got to see that. Alien? Hey. How old were you? Oh, God, it was about 1987, 12. The film of 1984. The, 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 I, the, the to... more modern was it? Oh, the, that's the John Hurt film, in it as well, it wasn't it? It? I think it was John Hurt. Yeah, I think yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. John Hurt's in that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What? Yeah, 
And everything was going well. Bits in it too. Yeah, there was no anything. anything that Trump does in it. We were all just like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that sticks in the mind. I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> we got to show the version of Romeo and Juliet with Olivia Hussey in it, who gets them out for the lad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, oh. various yeah. moments in that, and that that was. I sometimes wonder if that teacher just knew how to shut us all up. <laughs> <laughs> if he was clever. <laughs> now that uh, Polanski's Macbeth, though, is co-financed by Playboy Films. Yes. You'd have yeah. thought that alone, when they saw that on the screen, they would have thought, well, maybe this wow. isn't suitable for these four I wonder if that's where Bill yeah. Baggs got the idea from. <laughs> Bill Baggs... What? When he what? when he turns Zygon, when he turns John Blum's script for Zygon into soft porn. Oh yeah, yes. that's right. Yeah, he did do that, didn't he? John Blum? He did. That actually yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah. And John put a fantastic John video Blum. up on on YouTube saying, "I didn't write this bit." Oh, tits! That's not to do with me. Um, <laughs> subtitles just coming up all the way through. Nope, didn't write this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's back to desperation, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But didn't Bill Bass get one of his regular actresses to do that? I mean, I'm kind of yeah baffled. Yeah, by that. I really yeah. feel sorry for her. I mean, yeah. you know, Some one or other. Yeah, yeah, didn't have to Joan do it. Castleton, but... Yeah, but... <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh... mm. yeah. There is one scene that just starts on a shot of tits and, and then pans up, which is saying something. And you go, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it wasn't David Tennant, was it? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. David Tennant wasn't getting his tits out of that space. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. You're in the globe. Shakespeare. Which is... Yeah, they're in the globe, which has got fourteen sides, yes. uh, which is um, significant. So they they go and visit Peter Street, the architect in uh, is in Bedlam. He sounds like a character out of the suite, doesn't he? Peter yeah, Street, Peter Street, fuck's cat, yeah. yeah. A real person? Does anybody know? I haven't checked that. I don't you know. Must be. You wouldn't choose that name. You wouldn't choose Peter. Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look it up now. I want to know. <laughs> Uh, it's got, uh, the teeth were terrible. It looked like you played yes. with someone familiar. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Peter There's Street in Manchester. Of... Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> Peter Street. <laughs> That's what I thought. You're just going to get loads of things from places actually called Peter Street. Yeah. Well, yeah. Peter Street yeah. as well. Peter Street surgery. All right. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Peter Street was an English carpenter and builder in London in the 16th and early 17th centuries. Oh. He built Fortune really? Playhouse and probably the Globe. There you go. <laughs> probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. We don't really know. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So I'm going to start claiming things I haven't done. I have probably <laughs> played the Doctor in this story. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah. That's the problem with Shakespeare, though. It's all supposition. We don't actually know. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. a lot of guesswork that goes into this. Um, Maybe he's a sort of Donald Tosh type character who is just kind of yeah, I wrote that. Yeah, that was my <laughs> idea. That's what a lot of people said about him, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was listening to an interview with Don Tosh earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good Brandy. question for this. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, in 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 keeping with my, I'm just going to watch and listen to things that are nothing to do with this episode. <laughs> Absolutely, it's my new way. <laughs> Come on, catch Did up. He go, no, no, Robert. <laughs> You're watching oh, the wrong geez. thing. No, he no, he he went. Yeah, that was me. That was me also. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> Toby Haydock was interviewing him, and you could tell that Toby Haydock was just sometimes going, "Hmm." <laughs> That's in the case of, I know you didn't, but I'm just going to shut up. Uh, yeah. So they go to um, they go to this place. Meanwhile, the cast are. They're rehearsing the play, which causes weird things to happen. A sort of strange spirit oh, appears yeah. in front of them. Um, <clears throat> cut to bed them, which is horrible. Um, it's yeah. uh, mm-hmm. filmed in one of those dungeon places. It's got lots of bars everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got Shakespeare alternately flirting with one or other of them. 
and then uh, he talks about his son, Hamnet. He's quite yeah. sex obsessed in this, isn't he? Yeah, he's odd. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. he is. He's quite filthy. Yeah, he is. Um, but he kind of you he... dirty old bard. <laughs> Shakespeare do with the nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Shakespeare talks about how he lost his. He talks about how he lost his mind for a while when his son died. So uh, you know, so mm-hmm. we get a bit of background here, which is quite pertinent. And then they get talking to uh, Peter Street, uh, Mister Street. As we I, like just, I just keep imagining he's Peter Stringfellow now. Um, <laughs> yes, which amuses me. Shakespeare talking to Peter Stringfellow. <laughs> So he's still alive. Bit no, he only died recently, presumably of sexual oh. exhaustion. <laughs> oh, okay. I think. I'm just, I'm just imagining him and now going and visiting him in Bedlam and he's wearing a kind of leopard skin posing perch. With a medallion going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's Stringfellow, not Shakespeare, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah Stringfellow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not after Hugh Hefner died, I mean, all these stories come out about his mansion because he lived in this amazing mansion, yeah, full of blonde playboy babes. Yeah. But yeah. he had quite a lot of shih tzus, which would shit everywhere. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it, it was actually horrible. <laughs> it sounded vile. <laughs> and he took so much Viagra that he went deaf. Oh. Uh, I think I learned recently. Does that happen? Well, I mean, I just read it recently. I you know, this is fair enough. I'm fair enough. Yeah. You, so, yeah. yeah. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably probably not relevant, but hey. Uh, well, okay. yeah. Time ran after dark. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual advice for the over fifties. Don't, <laughs> Don't overdo it. <laughs> um so they talk to Peter Street. We're getting yeah. there. We're getting there. We're getting through this. It's all yeah. right. They talk to Peter Street and it's about um they talk about witches. Um and the witches got him to design the globe or the whatever it's called. I don't know the globe. But the witches they kind of they're aware they've got some kind of CCTV. I don't know, they've got something watching him. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it bats? I don't think spats. They kind of they look in their cauldron, which is they've got image on the it's yeah. witchcraft. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah you got to get ball if it's yeah. got a typical teddy cauldron. Yeah. Um, would would Moffat only John Logie more... Baird have thought of that? Eh, the world would be completely different. A teddy cauldron. We'll <laughs> be gazing into pots right now. <laughs> <laughs> get quicker than that. You would. Would, would uh... the way you put your pot. Well, you know, you put it on the wall. The water falls out, so it's kind of it doesn't work. Oh. You can pass over it. <laughs> See depends, on the fi- depends on the fixing you use. Absolutely. Yes, um, if you use a good strong wall, you will like be fine. Like a gim- gimbal fixing. Oh, yeah, a gimbal? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Gimbal pot. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you're attaching your, attaching your cauldron to the wall, you're going to need a gimbal fixing. You're going to need mm-hmm. a gimbal pot. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Make sure you've got the right fixings for the wall as well, because you don't want the wall to come away. It's, it's also you've got to make sure it's not a Latin plaster wall as well. You need quite a lot of string, you proper brick wall to put yeah. it in. So you'd have to be careful yeah. that sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. Good. Good advice there. Okay. Um <laughs> well it's advice, I'm not saying it's good. <laughs> Two time tips with Napa. <laughs> 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 this week how to hover over a shih tzu next week how to fit out of cauldron water cauldron water, cauldron water. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's opposed to any other kind of where it's, it's going to be special cauldron water otherwise you wouldn't ever see a picture of it wouldn't it <laughs> I was just going to say do you think Moffat would have a more scientific explanation or would he just go with the witchcraft and say yeah fine whatever Mercury <laughs> That's 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 you know, uh, David Whittaker, yeah. David Mercury, Whittaker is it? Mercury. Yeah. Yeah. They're supposed to have this technology based on words, aren't they? Which yeah. He yeah. says they yeah. use words like we use maths, but that's not an explanation because we don't use <laughs> no, maths. <sorry. laughs> no. You know, kill people with dolls, so it doesn't make any sense. No. Yeah. Having said that, Doctor Who is a fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. People say it's science fiction. It's not a science fantasy. Yeah, yeah. And it always has been. 
God, Baz, imagine how powerful you'd be if you could kill people with maths. Mm. Mm-hmm. Five times seven. <laughs> yeah. Very fun. You're like June, but with maths. <laughs> <laughs> Dune, where they use uh, <laughs> the voice to, uh, to harm this people. Is the new yeah. Dune or old Dune? Is Patrick's Dune, Dune or? <laughs> it's old Dune. I think it's a new Dune as well. I'm not sure. I've, I've not seen the new Dune. The new, it's, it's very good, yeah. They do it have the same scene good, where yeah. he has to put his hand in the box and he's like, are you a human? Yeah. She doesn't say, you know, what's five times seven? But um probably could, you know. It's I think it's in the book as well. So, uh, oh, no, it makes sense. Uh, can't read that. It's about it's about that about that thick for book. Yeah, I have read it. It's full. <laughs> it's a anybody who's ever read you, and it's like uh, it's full of all these bits where it has people going, "Ah," he said in the voice reserved for going "ah." <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's got all these pe- people working talking in these different sort of voices that are reserved for different things. I have read Dune, but I don't remember that. I might have read it. Yeah. Years, but, I've but, never uh, read Dune. I should read you. Yeah. That's good fun. Yeah. yeah. It is long, but it, no. it's just was and, and yeah. time is short. <laughs> and it's got like it's got a gargantuan appendix at the end of it as well to explain so all the stuff that's in the rest of the book. You see, I mean, I read The Lord of the Rings, so this has no fear for me. You know, just, uh... <laughs> I read The Lord of the Rings. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. I haven't. <laughs> no, I, I read Don Quixote. That's a hell of a book. Yeah, I, I got halfway through that and gave up. Yeah, I read, I read yeah. War and Peace. That's that's quite a long one as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Not many things longer than War and Peace. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just not going to. Not going to what? I'm not going to rise to the whole thing. There's not much longer than War and Peace. Carry on. Hmm? I was going to talk about penises. Oh, ah. oh ah. bloody hell! Really, you guys are getting old. <laughs> yeah. Right, but Paul got it, but then Paul can't hear properly. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so um, plot. Yes. Uh, the yes. the witches they're aware. They notice that the doctor's uh, talking to the architect. They're not happy about it. Um, so one of them turns up. They can't, she uh, teleports through or something. I don't know. She just appears, and um, she's able to kill Peter Street with a touch. She just touches him, and his heart stops. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you could do that, I'm tracking down Boris Johnson tomorrow. Yeah, she says like <laughs> square root of three or something. He's gone. He's yeah. Down. Um, if only you had a shih tzu. <laughs> They're protective against that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, they do so, anything <laughs> except they use words instead of maths. It's, yeah, it's like uh, past yeah, participle. <laughs> <laughs> conjugate the subjective. <laughs> conjugate. I've always loved the word conjugate. Yeah. Never used it in real life, though. I mean, why would you? Well, you know, what's it mean? I don't know. No, <laughs> I don't know what it means either. <laughs> Conjugate this, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of action film I want to make with a hero like that. You know, just says yeah. Like... With his gun in hand, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Conjugate this. <laughs> come on, do it. Come on. Oh. Quiet, boy. I always wanted to make a film called Tweed Dogs about a bunch <laughs> of uh, sort of university professors who have to kick ass for some reason. <laughs> Funny enough, I had a similar idea about Vickers. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be the same sort of thing. You know, they have to end up with, with machine guns and yeah. all the action hero bit. It could be a gang rivalry between Vickers. And the university professors. Vickers versus professors. Go, yeah. 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 Who doesn't want to see that action film? Yeah, that's the untold Absolutely. story. Yeah. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, anyone listening who's got well, a great deal of money, send it to us and we'll make that film. And no yeah. sense. Yeah. 
Uh, I better do some plot anyway. Um, Samuel yes. L. Jackson as like yeah, yeah, yeah. the Reverend something or other. <laughs> the Bishop. <laughs> the Bishop, yeah. Or just the Virgin. Maybe he's the Virgin. Yeah. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> yeah. It'll be uh, the Virgering on the ridiculous. Uh, uh, do you think you got there with the worst yeah. joke of the episode again? Yeah, you claimed it back. Yeah. <laughs> Really. Wouldn't let it lie. <laughs> really hasn't gone right for me since watching Journey to the Center of the TARDIS. Uh, <laughs> you watch, we'll get that for next week, and it'll just be miles ahead, <laughs> I'll be ahead of the curve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the doctor realizes that these these witches they're actually carrionites. Um, yes, they're from the planet Carrion. 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 I don't. Know. Um, but he's named her. You name a witch, she's she's fucked. Yeah. So she vanishes. Uh, yeah. Well, she goes back to the the coffin where they live in their, their, mm-hmm. their sort of house. So this is where he tells us that they, yeah, they use words like like we use maths. So, um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. They they're onto him now. And they're like, who is this doctor? I'm going to kill him. Well, is going to kill him. So uh, mm-hmm. she's up for that. Back at the inn, Shakespeare realizes that he doesn't remember writing the final lines of the play. Which is unfortunate because uh, the final lines are going to do stuff, things, stuff, stuff, stuff. Uh-huh. yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Can I explain that one? Yeah, I, I thought I had explained it. Yeah, things, things, things are going to happen. Things stuff and stuff. stuff. Things and stuff. Yeah. Right, right, sure. right, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, uh, the cast are already performing Love's Labour's one with the itch. The witches are right there in the audience, kind of enjoying the show. So um, they send Shakespeare back to stop the play. Yeah. Get it stopped. Uh, and he kind of runs on runs on the stage, so like, stop the play, and then the witches kind of nobble him with the, with the doll. They've still got yeah. the doll. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, meanwhile, um, the Doctor and Bill go to All Hallow Street, uh, which is... Um, I, I must have missed a bit. I'm not quite sure how they worked out they need to go there, but they need to go there because it's where the coven is, it's where the witches are living. Didn't Peter Stringfellow tell them? Uh, Did he? He might have done. Yeah, he might have done. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 The canon now that it was Peter Stringfellow. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Stringfellow. Excellent. He's playing him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is his ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Lilith's there. She's lying in wait for them. Does he actually have bikini-clad babes around him in the cell? <laughs> just as in that's just what happens where Peter yeah. Stringfellow goes. Just, that just happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he thought he thought he was building a nightclub and turned it into a uh, theater. Yeah, yeah. He said a bloody theater. <laughs> now he's in this sort of dungeon surrounded by babes in bikinis. Okay. Yes. Time of his life. Yeah. <laughs> That, is, that kind of is a nightclub, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the Doctor and Bill. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. They go back to Leah's place. She's waiting for them. She knocks out Bill with, by using her name on her. Yeah. She's named her, you see. Doesn't yeah, work I... the Doctor. Because uh, that's not his name. No. Ah. You uh, see? You see what yeah. they did there? Because he's uh, Doctor Who. He's Doctor Who. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, we learn a bit about why they're there. There's the Carrionites, something happened to their planet. It might be due to some yeah. kind of ongoing plot thing that I can't remember. There's something about planets. Yeah. It was eaten by a giant mutant shih tzu. It was eaten by a giant mutant shih tzu. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah. it, was it an ill-tempered mutant shih tzu? Yes. 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 Is there mm-hmm. any other kind? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, all the Carrionites are trapped. They're trapped in this other dimension place thing uh yeah. but three of them they got drawn to earth by shakespeare's sister word. yeah no. shakespeare word um, usage stuff uh-huh so, and his grief ah, which is like maths which is like maths because yeah. he's, he, he's he's good with word things yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> good with yeah. word things yeah word things he does word yeah. things mm-hmm. um so basically, Shakespeare is the Einstein of his time. Yeah. Yeah. I did say this episode's got his tongue up his ass. You know, it's, it's absolutely true. You know I mean, all yeah. they do, they're going, God, you're so fantastic, Shakespeare. You're so yeah. brilliant. 
Yeah, I love you. Yeah. I bet happen. he wasn't all that sexy even when he was young, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, this is meant to be 1599, and I think the famous portrait of Shakespeare is from about 1601 or two. Right. What, what happened to the hair? The hair just went, clearly. Yeah. So he's yeah, probably right. been bald by this point anyway. Not yeah. that I'm saying being bald is unsexy, but um, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, he sort of combined bald with the mullet, really, didn't he? So it's kind of, it's not, it's not a great look. <laughs> mm. I mean, it works for Bill Bailey, obviously, but um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so uh, they basically got a plan. Their plan is to purge the human race and then let the rest yeah. of the Carrionites in. So uh, so the doctor's kind of thinking that, you know, he's got on the ropes, but then she kind of takes some of his hair, stops his heart, or one of his hearts, and then mm-hmm. she's off. She's off on her broom, mm-hmm. thinking he's dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, of course, he's got two hearts. So uh, they have a sort of sequence mm-hmm. where Martha kind of whacks life back into his heart. It's very... David Tennant's sequence. I'm not quite sure again. Yeah. Can't yeah. Do this. Um, yeah. I don't. I think the sequence would stay largely the same. Maybe you yeah, do it. Yeah, he just way. wouldn't. He just wouldn't. Yeah, it would just be played. And a boom shit at the end. Of yeah, the no, there'd be none of that. Yeah. 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 That. yeah. None of the bad boom. Harder. Hit me harder. Hit me, Bill. You hit, hit me, me like with a girl. <laughs> Hit me with your rhythm stick. I'm not going to lower myself to <laughs> well, I'm not... <laughs> Dickie and I are above such accents. No, no. Oh, if he... <laughs> if he my heart stopped. Actually, that's a fair point. Dickie is not above that kind of accent. <laughs> <laughs> or wasn't a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God! Well, Dicky at least has some Scottish heritage. That's I've got some Scottish heritage. Yeah. Have you? All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. Mine were Irish, so there you go. <laughs> Scottish and Welsh. A bit like Buzz. Yeah. Yeah. And my grandmother was from Hartlepool, so you know. Oh, oh bless him! Trying to be northern. Bless I know. <laughs> trying to fit in. No, it's no, it's not going to work. You know, you ha- you help ha- people, people, you hang monkeys. Just, just humour it, people. Humour it. <laughs> You're welcome, Barry. <laughs> if you want him to get Radji. <laughs> it's all right. He won't understand what that means. <laughs> no, he is from the South. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> Quite welcome. <laughs> right, stop that. Silly. Um, <laughs> Lilith. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Lilith. She arrives at the theatre. She joins the other witches there. They've got this kind of crystal thing that they're kind of playing with. Um, yeah. And uh, the final lines of the play activate this crystal. Oh, yeah. Uh, Corrugating crystal, blah, 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 blah. That's the one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's like I watched yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. At which point shit gets real. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, lots and lots. I love of... that bit in all Doctor Who stories where shit gets real. That, that's yeah, that's yeah. It. <laughs> so the Doctor and Bill turn up. They kind of they're they're hot on the tail. Uh, they kind of revive Shakespeare, and they all went on stage as um, Harry and I start buzzing around the place. Mm-hmm. And um, in the original version, at least, the Doctor gets Shakespeare to improvise some stuff. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. I was thinking Capaldi could get his guitar out and beat them with the power of music. That might work. He you wasn't know. always yeah. playing his guitar, you know. No, I guess not, no, no. Maybe occasionally. It's like to see him jamming in the globe. That'd be great. Yeah, I don't know. He uses music like they use words like other people use maths. Ah. <laughs> Ah, yeah. nice, nice. And yeah. music is the food of love, so he plays on. <laughs> plays on, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'll use that. <laughs> plays a bit ACDC, you know. He's, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. That would be copyright. They'll have to pay for it. They well, well, afford well, copyright now? Well. Actually, yeah, they could just buy it, couldn't they? they could yeah. to. Anyway, one way or another, they uh, they expel the Carrionites. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the power of music. Yeah, and one god awful line at the end. Help me out, 
Oh, he's spinning yeah. on. Oh, God, yeah. Yes. Good yeah. old JK. That, <laughs> that, has, that hasn't dated well. It really hasn't, has it? No. So, I think yeah. she hadn't gone mad by then, had she, when, when this was... No, made. no. I mean, they referred to her a few times. This is clearly before the Deathly Hallows came out. Right. Yeah. And the yeah. doctor goes, oh, that's great. Yeah. You know. And all of us waiting at the time went, well, oh, maybe it will be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Didn't RTD try to get JK Rowling to write us an episode? He wanted her to appear in an episode, didn't he? Did he? He wanted mm. JK Rowling to appear in an episode as herself and she kind of turned it down. Yeah. Bullet dodged. Yeah. 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 Um Christ. An episode we'll never see again or see edited or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be the new fix with some So yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it's a bit weird. This, I mean, it's up Shakespeare's ass, it's up JK Rowling's ass as well. It's kind of weird. That's a lot of answers it's up. It's, really, it's yeah, up yeah, Shakespeare's yeah. ass as well, because that's how he's amplifying the guitar. You think, <laughs> are they equating the two? Are they really saying JK Rowling's like the bottom of Shakespeare? Oh, no. <laughs> Not, mm. 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 I've never understood mm. this thing of comparing other writers to Shakespeare. Why do it? I mean, yeah. there's Shakespeare, and, the, and there's, you know, other writers who do their thing, and they're also brilliant, and, you know, yeah. 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 The whole comparing things, I don't get anymore. You know, I used to yeah. kind of do it when I was in my 20s, but usually with the eras of Doctor Who. But but nowadays, yeah. I just kind of go, what's the point? Yeah. Why, why compare this thing to a completely different other thing? Particularly writers. I mean, like you say, every writer's doing their own thing you don't expect yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. it's like with musicians isn't it where they go oh they're the new Beatles and you mean what they're gonna last eight years and then have a really acrimonious breakup <laughs> yeah <laughs> also the kiss of death yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. yes so what and on the whole they're not gonna be making music that's anything like the Beatles because Everything's completely different. Yeah. Styles yeah. have changed. And, yeah. Oh, my God. Haven't they just... I hate modern music. I'm not wild about it either. No. No. I, we all I'd like to, be, I like to like understand it. the words. Uh, <laughs> I'm able to hear what they're saying. And it's not because I'm deaf, because I've got hearing aids now. So it, it very much... Is that Viagra? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't pronounce properly. <laughs> Yeah, bastards. <laughs> but they're young. We are starting to sound like middle-aged men now. Yeah. That's because we are, Barry. Starting. <laughs> Charitable. I've been doing this since I was in my 20s. Indeed. Well, we all have. This is the thing. I just remember we're all actually talking exactly like we always have done. So yeah, this isn't, that's true. Yes. Yeah. This isn't about yeah. middle age. We're just curmudgeons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And okay, I always look back at kind of when I sort of... Um, dyed my hair red and i mm. think uh, i just had my middle life crisis when i was about 30 you know just get it out of the way mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. don't have to bother with it later on you know just have it then <laughs> i just had an ongoing crisis yes yeah i'm just spreading it out over my entire life it's a life <laughs> crisis yeah. a life crisis life crisis i'm having a life crisis yeah an existential <laughs> life crisis yes, what's the can... song capaldi's playing little life crisis Life crisis. Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I think. laughs> I'm sorry, Peter if you happen to listen to this podcast because you are a Who fan. <laughs> no, we do want you to come on, Peter Capaldi. <laughs> what do you mean you want him to come on? Well, He's already here. <laughs> you can, you can take the piss on. out of our oh. accents. <laughs> come on, Peter Capaldi. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, grab the Peter Capaldi. It's <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Uh, <laughs> years ago, some <laughs> never came back. Anyway, they, they expel these carrionites. Um, Yay! Big Hurrah. burst of strange lighting. The audience goes wild. They love it. They mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, They're probably thinking, God, that fella playing the girl's really good. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we cut to the next morning. Um, every copy of Love's Labour's One has disappeared, which is convenient. Yeah. Shakespeare starts talking about his next play. He's going to write Hamlet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Based on the 
or at least inspired by the tragedy of his son, Hamnet. And we get another scene where he kind of, he sussed them. He goes, oh, well, you're an alien and you're from the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I do remember thinking, what? Come on. It's too much. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, was, he was a brilliant writer, but. Yeah. He's not. That doesn't yeah. mean. Yeah. Amazing insights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As you say, up his ass. Up his ass. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, fortunately, Queen Liz arrives and uh, yeah. chases them the fuck off. So uh, that's it. Um, a reference, of course, to the Hartnell story where where he ended up marrying uh, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Day of the Doctor. Yeah, that Hartnell story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, he knows all about that. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, Absolutely. He's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, so, we started through that. We started through um, that. <laughs> Is it better or worse? Shall we in spleen? Ensplainment. 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 I mean, it's got shit zoos in it. It's got shit zoos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is a plus. Yeah. I it's think it probably would have been that, exactly the same. Yeah. It's not going to be all that different. Yeah. I mean, it'll be yeah, shot in exactly the same. Mm. It'll look a yeah. bit better. Um, no, the gr- grumpier doctor. Grumpier doctor. Yeah. That's yeah. the main difference, really. Grumpy Scottish yeah. doctor. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, Bill's going to be playing basically the same role as Martha, which, which doesn't, from memory in my case, need much change yeah. in terms of plot function and stuff like that. You know, she's going to be doing the same things. She's not going to be flirting with the Doctor. I mean, that's the main thing of this, is that Martha's pining. She's not going to be flirting with the Doctor. Yeah. And that's pining her, for the Doctor, and bouncing. he's just not nosing. Um, yeah, yeah. So the relationship's different, completely different, really. So Yeah, 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 yeah. All of those scenes, probably, I don't know what you do with them. Um, I mean, maybe do it a bit more like Thin Ice, where you got stuck with her sort of, her wonderment, you know, work on that a little bit, you know. Yeah. Mm. Better or worse, I don't know, about the same, really. About the yeah. same, yeah. That's yeah. preferable to me because I prefer Capaldi's Doctor to Tennant's. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. for that reason, yeah, I would, I would prefer it. Mm-hmm. Um, probably wouldn't have the J.K. Rowling stuff. No. <laughs> no, we cut that. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I think Capaldi well, and Tennant are my two favourites. The two favourites. Capaldi. Tenant. Capaldi and Tennant. Um. um I'd say out of all the new who are my my favourites. Yeah. Capaldi's my my absolute favourite, followed by Eccleston fairly closely, but Eccleston only had one season. Yeah. But yeah. whenever I watch a Capaldi story, I appreciate it more and more and more. Yeah. yeah. He has more depth as an actor, I think. He's doing a lot of work that you don't notice first yeah. time around. If you actually sort of study what he's doing, he's working like hell. It's yeah. an era that's getting reappraised now, I think. Oh, I see a lot of comment it, from people going, same you know what? It's yeah. Actually, damn good. And didn't um, didn't Hell Bent like win the best story ever type thing? Yes, I yeah. watched that song I watched the other day, and it is brilliant. It is brilliant, and he's superb in it. He has to carry the entire yeah. episode alone. Mm. Uh, he's yeah. great. He's just 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 such a tremendous actor and a tremendous yeah. doctor. Um, so, two of the four, someone, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I was reading a thing today on online where some fancy website had kind of ranked the doctors. And uh, they put Troughton below all of the modern doctors apart from Jodie Whittaker. And I thought, oh, come on, this is Trout. The fools, then. Yeah. Yeah. And well, they also put number one, they put Shuti Gatwa. And you're thinking, yeah, he's good, but he's only done one fucking story. How can, <laughs> yes. how can you put him first? Yeah. 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 The Disney doctor. My. <laughs> Ah, indeed. Indeed. Let's let's see how he pans out. I'm still not convinced about the musical bit in the middle. Yeah. Nah, that was the, the, the song I'm after. Okay. Yeah. Very labyrinth with David Lowell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a bit forced. Mm. Shall I do some numbers then? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Christopher Eccleston. Oh, ah. Again, right? Yeah. In story ninety one. Ooh. Uh, ninety one. 
Oh no, Tom Baker. Tom Baker, that'd be Tom Baker one. Planet. Yeah. No, it's not the Pirate Planet. It's, it's around. It's it's Ray Williams. If if Stones of Blood is story a hundred. Or if I'm wrong, maybe. Oh, good story. Yeah. I love that story. Because the echoes in that. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Talons of Wing Chiang. Oh. oh. Good lord. Oh. The funny thing is, today I was just thinking to myself, I wonder when we'll get talons. Oh, you've got it. We've just got talon. Talons. Fantastic. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to walk around thinking every missing episode's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Use your time wisely. Very nice. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That would be point. really good because the, I mean the ele- the elements of it that have did it badly are Will not entirely be, yeah. in the yeah they're entirely in the casting or anything it's not in the script yeah. yes well you can well do there's a couple them. of things that there's are a said, couple of there's a couple of wrong yeah. thing, old things yeah yeah but, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah but most yeah. of it's the casting really isn't it Blimey, yeah that'd it be great. yeah 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 I can see that working yeah, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. Um, yes, yes. Have you have you had a, a nice time, Napper? I have. I have. Good. It's been good fun catching up with you. Yeah, I've enjoyed watching the episodes to catch up. Mm. Yeah, and that's good. Mm. Better than call the midwife, as I was saying, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the wife who makes you watch what call the midwife, you know, I believe. She doesn't. She's where she, when I'm working in the garage, she's got it on while she's doing a jigsaw. <laughs> and I come in and it's like, oh God, somebody's giving birth again. <laughs> Isn't that minty I, from EastEnders? I have yet to see an episode of Call the Midwife. I've, I've seen oh. one clip, which is the one where they're watching an episode of the Aztecs. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, they're always That's giving right. birth and call the midwife, isn't it? It's like turning on Wait. all creatures great and small and not expecting him to have his arm up a cow. In fairness, if you're watching a pro- <laughs> if you're watching a program about midwives, yeah, it's kind of to be expected. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's when it crosses over and it's like she's watching something with uh, I can't remember her name, but she's becoming a midwife in real life, and it's like too much. <laughs> Too many red wives. <laughs> that was time around. <laughs> Not that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bombshell. Um, yeah, thank, thanks to uh, everyone for coming. Thanks to everyone for listening. Thank you, Baz. Thank you, Paul. Bye. I'll actually speak rather than just waving. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Baz just waved the other one. <laughs> and thank you, Napa. See you later. Go forth, listener, and and buy Napa's photos from his website because they're actually really bloody good. Oh, yes. thank you. They genuinely are, though, aren't they? I mean, they actually they're, they're, are really good. No yeah. artificial intelligence yeah, involved. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, you can tell. Genuine cause... intelligence. Um, <laughs> and, and buy his leather Human goods. Buy his leather yeah, goods. Yeah. He likes it. Yes. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah they're, they're completely kosher. There's no, they're not dodgy. They are. Well, they're not kosher. I mean, they haven't had blood drained out of them in a certain way. That's that, that's no. Oh, Both those no. don't have blood. They're not technically kosher. No. Yeah. No. Uh, but if you're going to search for them online, for God's sake, don't uh, don't search uh, dicky leather. You, never know you may end up going there. I'd like to say thank you to Ben Jones for our music. You can find us all over social media. Theoretically, anyway, I should do something on social media. I've been off it for a while. I, just, I can't be bothered. But I, I should. I should go back on Twitter and go, hello, Twitter. Baz is on Twitter. Uh, he's at Baz Time Ram. Paul is also on Twitter at Paul Ferry 8. Dickie, are you on Twitter? No, I'd rather have my arm chopped off and beaten around the head with a bloody stump than be on Twitter. But I am on you Instagram. Because yes. that's a bit much. I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's only a social media site. You're talking about amputation. Oh, that's true. Do you honestly prefer uh, that? No, no, you're right. I was a little you bit know, on the top. Proportion. <laughs> So, yeah, Dickie's on Instagram. What are you on Instagram? Uh, RBK Leathercraft, 1975. Doesn't sound odd at all. Um, I've been Rupert Booth. I'm on Twitter as Rupert Booth. And we're on Patreon. You can send us some money on Patreon. I don't know why you would, but you can. (laughs) And you should. 
and we'll see you next time. Really selling that Patreon site. <laughs> selling I'm not good at, all right? I've got this idea. I'm going to put my wax jacket on, which I've impregnated with a flammable material. I'm going to set myself on fire and then jump in the North Sea. What do you think? I think you're going to kill yourself. Direction point! Direction point! A Doctor Who Podcast Network.